Hi everybody. How are you doing today? So you're spitting on the graves, lady, you're spitting on the graves of all the brave men and women who have fought and died. It's not funny. It's not funny. Learn your rights. You're about 90 years old. You don't know it. These gentlemen have other things to do. There's two ladies holding hands, which we support. Do what you want to do. But you're going to shit on other people's rights while you're exercising your freedom? You are a failure, failed American. You're a failed American not knowing your rights. She's going to come sweep us up? Uh, All right, guys. Flex your freedoms. Make sure to give them a sub. Shut up. This is a sidewalk. It's called okay, public. Well, you're arguing with our customers. No, they came up to us. They came up to us. Uh, yes, it does. No. It does matter. It, it makes a big difference. We're having a discussion. Your job is not to tell us what to do. It's their job, if even that. No, it's not their job. We're not it's your job to have your brain. Where are you even We're from? Why are you here? We're not kitchen appliances inside, <laughs> Jessica. Kiss my ass. Hey. Get the fuck on. How about you shut up? Wow. I think that she was kind. Oh, are you going to cry? No, I'm not going to fucking cry, bitch. That would be a terrible mistake wow. for you to do. Wow. Right in front of the me. cop, she goes to swing. Wow. Oh, <laughs> With her you, name you, tag you on. Going. Promise. Yeah, you hit me, you will be dropped. She has a weapon. Why isn't your hand on your pistol? Her hand's on her weapon. She came over here aggressively. Why Why aren't you looking at her as a threat now? You've determined we're not. Grow up. Jessica, grow up. Bye, Jessica. Bye. Hi, Jessica. I made bad choices. Yeah, you're working at high beam trying to fight people exercising their rights. Bye, Jessica. You're famous now. Just 100,000 right, plus for watch. Not well, a big deal. I appreciate you guys going out, doing what you're doing. Seriously, I, it really doesn't bother me. You know, what I like is, is a good conversation. Hey, good night. Look. Bye, Felicia. Learn your rights, Damn, they're getting attacked <laughs> from all sides. Yeah, but you don't know them. Do Just so everyone's aware, this happens all the time. And as an auditor, when you start responding negative and stuff like this, sometimes you just can't help it. You're getting it from every direction. And people say, why are they being so aggressive? Well, how about everybody stop being aggressive? And then the auditing community could calm down just a little bit while we're out there exercising rights. Yes. Yes. I'll go ahead. I'm not going to say you can't go get it. That'd be ridiculous. I'm going to get it. They haven't trespassed us yet. So before they do it, I'm going to grab it. All right. Wonderful. I got no problem with that at all. Where are they going to get their uh, info? Can you say Officer Grego? Sergeant Grego? I think he's going to his truck. Mm. All right. He's got to secure his property. I appreciate the common courtesy and you walking us over and being uh, doing your job the right way. You see this? Exercising your rights and all these ignorant, low IQ folk that don't even know the First Amendment. They're all He's stupid. He's got binoculars. <laughs> That's the first freedom of speech. What else? Okay, well, I'm a woman. Oh, oh, you're a woman. So what's that mean? That means nothing. I'm sorry, but I think you're mentally challenged, so I'm not going to, I just won't engage with you. I'm sorry. What's up? Why does everybody keep walking up to them with a stick in their hand? It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't have a vehicle here. No, <laughs> they're already just trying. Yeah, I understand. can't come on the property and then. That's fine. No, I understand that. As far as I'm concerned, you guys can continue this. You see this shit? You can't exercise your freedom because these people goes, don't know it, dude. And the problem the with them. Way. It goes the same way with me. It doesn't matter what I do, whether. If I came out to you a different way than what I did, I'm gonna get criticized. No, you won't. Yes, no, you have never been to my channel because I don't. I do the opposite. Right. I, I show good I officers. Well, well, you will. Okay. You don't have to look for it. You don't have to anything. It'll come to you. Okay. Trust me, it will. And you'll understand that I highlight good ones, and you can have a redemption. It's not like a w one bad interaction. Sure. Next time I come, you could be a fucking superstar. Man, I, I, I have fell on my face so many times in my life, man. There's there you go. Done here we all have. We've all fallen on our face. It should. Coming, We've all had egg on our face. The people you're here to swear Sometimes you just got to dust off and move on. Good. Continue. I'm sorry. Well, that's bad then if you think that you did a good job today. I didn't say I did a good job. So did you do a bad job today? What would you change? I, I, honestly, I probably wouldn't change much about it. That's, that's bad then. That just shows that you're a bad officer. Well, that's and you're not willing to change. That, that's your opinion. No, that's fact. Is it? Yeah, because you mean, don't know the oath. We already been over this. You don't know the oath you swore. Or anything like that? I might have been. Might have been? Yeah. Okay. I think you're underestimating who I am and what I've done. Well, that's fine. Hey, you know what? That's what I'm saying. Like, you're, you're, you're being shady.
shady about who you are. Shady. Is there it goes. Because I have a Fourth Amendment to be secure in my person. Nice. So you don't get you don't get to go around asking who the fourth is, is not shady. Your Should never be it's considered shady. Right. But when I get questioned by somebody who wants to hide who they are, it doesn't matter. They have a right does, to do it that. It does to me. It does to me. But yeah. your law because enforcement that's, is that's, a difference. That's always been my leadership style. That you need to change that, man. You have to change. That's fact, though. You you swore an oath multiple times, but you don't know it. Thing with, uh, you you know, got something missed there. See like the see all the the little sheep people, yeah. the sheeple. They don't know their People. rights. There you we guys go. don't know jack shit about your rights. You're just spitting on the graves of actual heroes who have fought and died for our freedoms for you to bootlick the government enforcers. Well, you're a coward. Uh, so are, are, you, are you saying your sole purpose was to come and provoke the police department? When did I ever say provoking anything? That's just no, low I, IQ. Asked, I just asked you if that's what it was. No, what? why would you even say that? That's because stupid. They're, they're exercising their First Amendment. Just yeah, you are they now. are. They're and they don't even know their First Amendment, do they? They're exercising. Do, do, do one of these people know the First Amendment here? Not one does. They're exercising Not one. just the same, and now they're idiots. Yes, they are. Why, why would I say that? Why, what did why, they do to why us? Did they not exercise their First they Amendment. They can. Did I stop them? Well, you I'm calling them idiots because that's my First Amendment you, right, is it not? You call them idiots and saying they don't know what they're doing. They don't, do they not? So everybody who... I'm saying facts, see, you're not even... Idiot. Yes, because at minimum, every American should know what freedoms they have. That, that, that because they the don't, they're back to the blue till it happens to you. They don't know as much as you, they're, they're an idiot. Yes, if they, I know the bare minimum, Great. of course. Everyone should know what I know. Everything okay? Midwest safety, guys. Let's see what happens here. This one's a little crazy. What's going on down here? Okay, can you come up here and talk to me, please? No, I can stand right here. Okay, I'll come to you. That's whenever you're out of your jurisdiction to step down here. I'm not out of my jurisdiction. Yes, you are. You step down here and you're out of your jurisdiction with that badge on. I'm not. You better call in. Wow. Oh. You better call in and check if what I'm saying is right or not. Well, I'm that's, telling you the truth, that that's the law. That's what I'm trying. They're to about do. to step on sovereign land, or what's going on here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> who, who, and I have every right to remove them with whatever way I need to remove. Who do you need to remove? Who are you trying to remove? That's when you're not in your jurisdiction. Wait, her I'm husband not, claimed ownership over the land under the bridge. Talk to you, Apparently. They tell you what their names are. All right. I, don't give a what their names I are. never even asked for I don't name. care what their names are. I want them off my husband's land. Okay. My name is Colby. Okay. Okay. Hyphen. Okay. I go buy purple. This purple. I okay. want these people off my husband's land. I got the fire under control. They will okay. Can I come down there? I'm not trying to. I'm trying to help you out. Check it. Check before you come down there. Check what? Call into your superior. Okay. Check first before you come down here. That way. You're in right standing and you stay Okay, but if I come down there, you're not going to threaten me? I'm not threatening you. Okay, well, I'm... I would like for you to call your superior All right. to make sure you stay in right standing. Okay. If you come down here, you're not in right standing. Okay. Call your superior. Stop it. Okay. Call your superior. Okay. Before you come any further. Are you guys close? <laughs> she to keeps going further. Being combative <laughs> down here. Right. All Just right. because you right here, leap under come the bridge doesn't here, mean you here. own under oh, the bridge, I'm guys. Talk to see what's going on, but she has that air cell lighter. Ma'am, what's your name again? Do you remember me? Yes, I do. Whenever I, I don't yes, show I do. How many people travel over that freeway every day and do not notice the homeless population that's living under it? Huge. If you just walk around and explore your areas, the homeless population in the last 10 years has just skyrocketed. Call it. Check it out. Everybody's priced out of their homes. Okay. That's whenever I have fought hard for for y'all and for the sheriff's department. Yeah. All right, guys. Question right here: Who is the very first president you have ever voted for in the United States? All right. Tell me what. Tell me what happened. I was asleep in my camp, and what? she was out here like schizophrenic, yelling stuff or whatever. And it's not uncommon, you know. Okay. And she was telling <laughs> us to leave, and we just ignored her. And then next thing I know, she has that spray bottle and a lighter, and she lit my. I had a blanket wall on that side with mattresses and stuff. She hit it on fire. Okay, can you? Holy you? crap! Huh? And then uh, when everybody tried to do that, like everybody came out to help me put it out. Uh huh. She started trying to set everybody to help me put it out. Holy like, crap! He's talking about some daughter or something. These two mattresses are standing right here. Damn, they got and a I whole little cabin built, built there. And she said Hope the there's not a flood. And it, it yeah, was made from a flyer like this. Yes, right here. This way. And this is what burned. Yes. Okay. 
Do you know this girl? Does she stay down here? No, she lives over there. Oh, she lives on. Yeah, she so did she just walk up on the camp? Yeah. And was I have such a fear of earthquakes and underpasses. There's no way in hell I could ever live under a bridge. What about you? That does look scary. I, I don't I was even just like thinking being, about that while she was under there. I don't even like my car parked under a bridge. Like that, every time I'm under there, I'm like, uh, please don't fall, please don't fall. But that's a California problem, I guess. Oh, the, the aerosol and the lighter? Yeah. Did she spray it and light it or at all? Exactly. She spray it just like that. She tried, to spray, she tried to spray me with it. I had to run away from her. She sprayed him and got him on the back yeah. and then tried to light him on fire. Yeah. Do you have <laughs> it on your jacket? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Let me see. I don't know where it's at, though. I didn't know she tried to spray me with that. So how she's close saying, was she standing to you? Like, like this? Yeah. We need y'all to be in right standing. So this is at all times. What is this again? What is this called? This Imminent is? transient domain. Okay, well, oh wow! So they, she did claim the land. Trap. That's what I am here doing. This is my husband's land. That's what mm. I have been coming down here doing steadily. What's your husband's name? My husband's name is Apodaca. Hey, what? My first Apodaca <laughs> was attacked out on Kincaid Road. About three or four years ago, and there was 27 of them jump on her. Okay. Damn, and why does she sound like she's narrating a Western? A <laughs> and uh, that female stood there and bragged it one more again, one more again to my face. And See, everybody does it not? that stood up for her, I want them off. Yes, I am picking up the trash. That's what I'm doing down here. It looks like it. So okay. Quiet down here. Looks immaculate. She almost said that. She almost said that. She almost said after everything of them stalking my daughter and their game stalking me jesus and all their threats this is why we need mental institutions mm -hmm. back up and running in full force so that people like this can get the help they need before somebody gets burned to death under a freeway underpass and it just gets written off as like oh another homeless guy died uh, just, just check it out. Just check Mental it out. health because needs to be good. really severely looked at over the next couple decades, or we are losing control over this country. Yes, uh, I'm glad because mm -hmm. it, it wasn't that way just here recently. This aerosol can and the lighter, is that yours? Yes. Okay, what are you doing with that? I told them that they could either leave or I was going to move them out. And move, move them out and how? So whenever I cut the strings on their tent, uh -huh. because she refused to leave, they refused to leave. Uh-huh. She got sideways with me, but wouldn't come out of the tent. Okay. And I told her, you can leave, or, or I, I will light your tent on fire. There we go. Okay, and then what did you do next? I went to AutoZone, and I bought that brake clean. I have it. Jesus. Okay. I stopped it all up, said I got a lighter. Okay. And then what She's holding do? nothing back. And then I came back and did what I said I was going to do. I want them off my husband's land. They did not blink twice about stalking my daughter and her family. Jesus. Her little family. So she is not all there. Children in her house mm -hmm. in Irvine, Texas. And then they had the canisters, those canisters that go on the big guns that came back from Afghanistan. The, the chemical agent. They were throwing those into my daughter's house, into the nursery. Okay. This whole group, that group of do you, do you, never has damn, they followed you from Irvine, okay. Texas doing that? Do you, uh, <laughs> continue to do that to my daughter and her family. Okay. If I could have gotten mm -hmm. close enough, I would have lit her person on fire. Did yep. you try to... And any one of them that stepped in, stepped up and wanted to defend her? Mm -hmm. you keep believe me, I'm going to light them on fire. You keep I want them out of here. And I told him, I said, you need to butt out. Or she is burying herself. Or my mm -hmm. enemy also. Uh-huh. This was like, she's holding nothing now. Did. did you try to light him on fire? Sure did. Wow. Okay. How, Holy how, crap. Like, what, what did you try to do? Were you reaching you for it? Prison, no, prison, no, prison, no, prison, no, prison, no, prison, no, prison. No, no, no. I'm sure. No demonstration. Sure, what do you guys know? What a, no what demonstration that, needed. Right? Yeah. How close were you? She said, do you want a demonstration? <laughs> okay. Obviously not close enough. Where did you put mm. that lighter? It's in my pocket. Okay. After your plan of lighting stuff on fire, what were you going to do after? Jesus. They're going to leave. And then what? They're going to leave, and they're going to stay gone, and I'm going to continue to pick up this mess mm -hmm. and haul it out of here to the dumpsters. Uh -huh. uh, the lady at the self-checkout at La Tienda, the, the extra bag, she folds them up for me. Okay. So then I have a bunch of bags, and I fill them up, and I carry them off. I appreciate you sitting with us and answering my questions. Earlier when I was trying to come down the hill. And incriminating yourself. 
I did the same thing to him. Go on. Yeah, but about check it out. Yeah. Check, check, check it out. Yeah. Insistent on y'all check that out. Mm hmm Well, well, this is Carlsbad, right? We're the Carlsbad Police Department. Right. So we, we have... Carlsbad in what state? Imminent, transient, I'm not so sure. What does that mean? Check it out. What does that mean? Check it Probably out. Probably Texas. He'll know where to find it. He'll know where? Obviously, Texas, you'll know how to find it. Uh, it looks nothing like Carlsbad, California. Stand up for me. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> no, ma'am. Don't put your hands on me. Y'all don't put your hands on me. You are being officially put kidnapped. Put your hands on me. Stand up. Put your hands on me. Stand up. Put your hands on me. You're under arrest, okay? No, I'm not. Yes, you yeah. are. Put your other hand on your back, please. Well, I don't want to force it back. That's whenever. Put your hand on your back. Put your hand on your back. You need to read me my rights again for arrest. No, I don't. Put your hand on your back. Y'all are out of y'all are out of jurisdiction. Y'all are not in your jurisdiction to be down here. Period. All right, stand up for me. Nope. Okay. Nope. Jeez. Nope. Y'all are in the wrong. Y'all shouldn't even be walking down here. All right, you shouldn't be lighting off. people on fire. Yeah, I think that's yeah, a see, bigger problem. Mm -hmm. For sure. <laughs> no, you did not. No. You didn't check it out. No, you didn't. You need to check it out okay. before y'all are y'all end up sued. Y'all don't have the right to be digging in my pocket. That is my constitutional right. Um, you lost those rights a minute ago. Men. They're men with their hands in my pocket. Y'all are breaking my constitutional rights. Yes, you are. You're violating my constitutional rights. You are exactly fondling me. Wow. Boy. Exactly. I don't think they want to do that. You don't have the right to dig through my sh and that isn't mine. I found it along with those round <laughs> things. All right, have a seat for me. Don't dig through my stuff. That's that. not mine. <laughs> I wasn't lying to you. Okay. Yes, Thank you. That's when I believe that you were in on setting those little children's bodies on fire. Holy crap. Going. Yeah, she's you definitely crazy. Wow, bro. She needs some hospitalization. And it is on satellite. Like, imagine her going to prison and Step not taking her meds. As a matter of fact. And then a prisoner gets burned to death over some crazy shit. Ulysses oh, S. Grant knows. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. There's another Midwest safety well, right here. Okay. There we go. Here's the, well, here's Make the sure thing. you guys follow yeah. Midwest there's safety. There's nothing. Where's the phone? There's a, what, right here. She door dinged him. Okay. Well, there's damage on his car and there's damage on your door that matches his damage. Well, I guess you have to match it up. Okay. <laughs> but you're not gonna talk to me, and you're not gonna. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't need. I don't need to touch you, so that's fine. You want it though. Is she drunk? Hi, ma'am. It sounds like it. Her okay. mom was driving. Well, who's this? She's not driving this car. I okay, ma'am. Ma 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 She's going to ding it again. Do not touch my mother. No one's she touching smacked it. Stop. Do not touch And again. Stop. Three in a row. Mom. Stop. You don't touch me with an eye. You don't touch me with an eye. Enough. 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 Away from me. Get away. Enough. Stop. Stop. Calm enough. down. Enough. Get away from me. Ma'am. You don't touch me again. Enough. You prevent me throat. I'm going to tell you. God, how do how do men put up with these women, man? This yes, is crazy. Over here in Bro, how did she start Wait, what running? just happened? <laughs> what? Oh Holy crap. She yeah. instantly got out the other Holy side. Shit. <laughs> started running. Oh, hold on. No. 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 Just, how about both and a supervisor? They don't touch me. Get the f away from my mom. She's hugging her mom. You need, to, man, you need to stop. Get the f out of my mom. Get away from her. Oh, stop. Get away. No, don't oh, kick. Don't kick. Oh, don't kick. Oh, oh, I'm hurting her. Jesus. Wow, I got to turn that down for you guys. That's <laughs> insane. Oh, my. This is why mental health is no. very important that we revisit mm -hmm. that in this country. We have fallen down on that. And this is the result, man. This is uh, you have mentally ill people drinking loads of alcohol. I do like her jacket, though. I like the spots. Is that like leopard print on the blue? It's like it looks like camo or leopard. Or, it looks like, like leopard print. Okay. 
So who do we have coming? The hell was that laugh? That's like one of mine. We have an ambulance coming. I yeah. Okay. My mom is better than you. Hey, there's a postal truck in the background, guys. Stop my leg. Ma'am, stop it. Get the stop my leg. Nobody's good on you. What the fuck happened to these guys? Help! So anybody who's ever cried out for help when they were getting arrested, I wonder if anybody's <laughs> ever come to their aid. I don't in the, see the history point. of policing. I, I I really want an answer to that. If you guys know the answer, comment down below. It's a very important thing. I'm trying to investigate and find out. Help me, officer. Please help me, officer. Help me. We got you. He's asking you have another no cop to help her. You have no idea what I'm gonna do if you don't help me. Help! Help! I love you, mommy. Oh, <laughs> Just let me go, you idiot. We're not. We can't let you go. You're not acting. You're not acting safely. My legs are hurting. I have yeah. to get home. You okay, then? Home would have been 14 beers ago. You doing all right? What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, get in the car. Well, Danielle's not getting in your car right now. No. I don't know. Let me try to sit. Just sit down. Is she on crutches? Not. No, she is. She's, she's okay. not. It's just she's let's just leave her right here for now. How are you feeling, Danielle? You see me? She looks like she passed out for a second. Really? She's a little so. What in the heck? Yeah, that's when she woke up right there. Uh, the guy in the sunglasses, the original complainant. That's crazy. <laughs> I wonder if anybody fashion. featured in one of these videos has ever seen the body cam footage after the fact. I'm turning that down for you guys. You thank yeah. me, thank me later. Figure it out. Can you tell us what's going on with you? <laughs> Why does that sound like one of my sisters? <laughs> it does. That's why I was like, um. <laughs> Good thing it's not her, but it does sound like her. It's like her a little bit too. Right there. That's so literally her voice. The idiot on the phone, do you hear that? Wow. Thankfully, she doesn't drink like that anymore. I have to listen to you. I know my daughter got hurt already. You think that you are going to help me? Go say your daughter? Yeah, you're kind of tired. Okay, well, everything's going to happen to your camera, but nothing cares. Wow. No, no one cares. You know, I have to deal with it. I care. What happened with your daughter? Me. Why don't you figure it out? You have the camera. I just, I just want to hear from you, though. I'm not going to talk to you. What is this in front of me? A loser? And Jesus. really, I have to deal with this shit in front of me. Wow. My daughter is hurting, and she uh. has um, her father hurting, and I have to deal with this piece of shit in front of me. Are you kidding me? I'm more worried about her daughter having to what deal with this, this mother. Here? What is he? There are way too many parents in this country that have drunkard as parents, and that's really, really bad. Or a parent, at least one parent being a drunkard. Um, it's really bad. You know, they're being raised essentially by an absentee drunk person that's emotionally disconnected, that the child is end up being more of the parent. And that's why we need mental health facilities, because people that are in those kind of conditions and then drinking, like, amplifies this. Uh, pretty much, you are. Now I have to deal with this too, on top of everything else. If you guys are depressed, your heart. Keep the alcohol in the cabinet. All right, let's do that. Let's go on me. Oh, you're can you, me. Can you sit you're up by yourself? My I mean, what do you want me to do? Can you sit up by yourself? I don't know. You're on me. Yeah. Because they need a lot, you idiots. Okay. How about you just sit up by yourself then, okay? We're trying not to. You can do anyway. Hit me, hit me. I know you, Colin. Do this to me. Why would you do this to me? We did. For primarily for her. Man, hey, hey, come on. Stop that. Stop that. 
You can't. Hey guys, Hi. Danielle. You, you can't. You can't. You erratic. can't be hurting yourself. Um, okay. Start fighting with us, spitting at us. Oh, he's, he's hitting her head on the other car here. <laughs> Jesus. Skeleton. She's going from like one end of the spectrum to the other, to the other, to the other. Like yeah. I don't think she's figured out which personality she wants to take to jail today. I'm hitting your head again. She handcuffed. Yes. No, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> she's already well, handcuffed. Think. <laughs> okay. Gravity. She I want to know why they leg. haven't put her in a car yet. To me, that's a little disturbing that they're allowing this behavior to continue on the ground. And they haven't either called a paramedic to transfer her or transported them herself. I think that's who's on the way is paramedics. Well, at this point... Oh, it looks in, like they're there, actually. At this point, she's safer in the back of a cop car than where she's at right now. Hi, baby. What am I going to do now? <laughs> These guys just need to talk to you. That's what's going to happen to you. <laughs> Why is wow. Savannah? Yeah, it's not the police this time. Is there a paramedic? I don't care about police. My Savannah is gone. She's hurting me. Can we, uh, can we get her up and get her out of the car? Sure. Yep. Get me up. Okay, right. Danielle, come on. Ready, Danielle? One, two, three. There you go. Can you help me? Right. Can you help me? Right. Right. Walk okay, right. can you go over there? Okay, I'll be here. Yeah, they're here to help. That's crazy. Yeah? Yeah. Who are you, sorry? I'm the operations manager. Can you uh, leave my property, please? She's, he's the You're operations me, manager. With that, with that approach. What do you mean? Oh, that's not very nice, is it? Well, I know you're filming. Can you turn the filming off? No. I just told your colleagues I'm here to make a video about the building. Well, can we, can we have a look at what you're trying to do here, then? You need, to, you need to, first of all, you need to get permission. So let's walk, let's walk you up to the end. Come on, let's walk up to the end. Excuse me. I don't like the tone of your voice. Let's go and see the security guard. Come with me and we'll come and see security. Come on. Do you need to change your behavior, my friend? I'll just get Bob. Yeah. I don't know what that was all about. He's going to get Bob. You're a funny guy. <laughs> I'm not meaning to be. Yeah. I'm just, like I said to your colleagues, I'm showing an interest in the building. So what's up then? We've what's all no about? Problem. We've got no problem with showing interest, but you've got to be off the private. This is private property, so you need to be off these sides. I just said to the ladies, they said I'd rather you not film anything else in the reception. So I said, okay, mm. I'll step outside and no, do it. This is private property. Well, they've told me different, haven't they? So why are you getting angry? I'm not. You are. Why is your tone of voice change? Why are you getting angry with me? Because you, you, you're, you're a numpty, yeah. that's why. Get this guy off site, please. He's being angry now. He's starting to get aggressive. That's fine. I'll yeah. sit out. Um, please, can you get him off site? This right, is leave it to security now. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Thank you. So, Hi, mate. How you doing? And that's the op what is the operations director. Yeah, yeah, like that. You doing okay? Look at him. Off you go. It's all right, Dave. I'll sort you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'm good. Good, I'm good. He knows the score. Bob will handle it. Yeah, yeah. He's got the job. Yeah. He's got it no, no, down. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, don't your staff don't tell me otherwise. Then should there? If I'm told one thing, and then you approach in that manner, it's disgusting, Dave. How you doing? Bye, Dave. Yeah, mate, yeah. So, as you know, we just go around interesting places, yeah. we film, but when we're asked to leave, we go. But we need to be respectful of each other. No, no, totally, it's fine. So there you go. Right. I can see you've got your um, SIA license no, on display. No, 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 I, it's on display. I have been asked to leave. You're, you're looking like you're going to be a bit more professional. Friendly, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, that's exactly yes. what we want. So, yeah, have you watched this type of thing before? I'm, I'm aware of it, yeah. Yeah, what, what do you call it? I don't know. I mean, I know that they, you call yourself the auditors. There you go. Yeah, you've said the magic word. You don't know who I am, do you? Because if you do, if you say the name, you get a key ring. No, no idea. Do you mind if we, we walk up? Yeah, yeah, of course, chat, of course, of course, of course. Up. So how long has this place been here for? Ten years. Oh, right. It still looks quite new. Is it the same landlord for all the coloured buildings? No, it was a company called uh, Gaisley. They, they built them, like, all the individual ones. Right. So you've got John Lewis, Waitrose, all these sort of ones. So, yeah. so Gaisley was, like, the contractor? Yeah, the developer. I'd oh, right. Say. And did they sell them or were they renting them out? Or? They were purpose built, so a company goes to Gaze and they say, The security is nicer than the uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> wherever you manager. And then oh, right. Gaisley built them. And, and if you notice, there's Magna Parks, which is this is called. Right. And there's a Magna Park here. There'll be one in Northampton, but they're all bought. Magna Park. Yeah, I've noticed there's one in Lutterworth as well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they've yeah. been made by the same, same people. Right, so basically they've bought a load of land and they've said to all the big boys, right, how do you want your building? <laughs> Brilliant. Guys, make sure you check out DJ Audit. So somebody actually commented their channel to us to ask them to feature it on here. Uh, check out DJ Audits and yeah. you'll have a good time. They yeah. do some pretty good videos and they're he pretty does consistent. Drone footage too. Yeah, yeah. that's Yeah, they've got a public footpath running straight through. Oh, I see. And you, the sign up here it says um, 
please keep to the pedestrian footpath, which I did. And yeah. it says, um, access to restricted areas is prohibited or something like that. Yeah. So restricted areas, I won't go out past any barriers or, you know, and I went into reception. I've got, the ladies were brilliant. Yeah. They says, oh, there's some leaflets. Have a look at that um, sculpture in the corner, you know, made of recycled yeah. iron brew. Yeah. Brilliant. And then I was just talking to the guy there because he says you've got an outdoor canteen in that little garage bit. Like an outdoor drinks. Oh, a staff sales. Mm. Oh, is it staff sales? Oh, right, staff sales. Is that why it says only take two crates? Oh, there, no, that's where... No, there is where we... Say if we've got stuff that's coming like three months on this, like left on its day. You'll notice right. uh, some of the auditors that we feature will do different things. Everybody's got a different personality they bring to the table. They have different uh, places that they'll go into audit. Um, I've noticed a lot of the ones in other countries, they will go onto private property. Yeah. And stay there filming until they're asked to leave and then most of the time they'll leave as soon as they're asked politely and only a couple of people have kind of freaked out but without necessarily asking to leave so they'll finally leave but you know yeah, way, way it's an amazing, upon request yeah, it's an amazing place i've showed an interest i'm being yeah. polite and respectful but when people treat me disrespectfully i've got to show a little bit back because oh. you just get walked over that's no, totally fine but yeah i'll stay outside here i have mentioned to the ladies that i do finish my videos with a drone so for, for the next 10 minutes, I'll be flying my drone over and I, I will stay higher than 50 meters. There's no risk of it hurting anybody if it falls. Yeah, so I'm just trying to right, yeah, yeah, e mean, ease your suspicions, that's all. No, it's fine. It's totally fine. Right, <laughs> so day, from man. this moment, I won't the come back here. security was but, cool. Did you say your name? It's Robert. Robert, you've been very so professional. He Gets escorted out and then uses a drone to go back. <laughs> that's there kinda, you go. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> that really is. But... To me, All right, guys, we had to repost this section because yesterday it went up with no audio. It was mildly depressing, but here we go. Now we got all the audio. Enjoy. You guys have a beautiful day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Make sure you I think they parked in the wrong spot. They were probably looking for Dairy Queen. That was weird. Yeah, they definitely missed their uh, exit. They were looking for Dairy Queen, but parked at Jack in the Box. They gave me the finger. Huh, wonder why they're so pissed i didn't even talk to anybody i'm on the phone with my wife most of the time i've been here the second i turn the camera on they're flipping me off for no reason i haven't engaged with them any negative way and i don't know if they realize that they're not at the speaker sign the speaker order ones are here The number seven? Yes. Yeah. French fries, okay? Uh, so, how are you doing? No problem. Number seven with onion rings and a Diet Coke. Anything else? Yeah. The sandbags? No, not anymore. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, the can bag already?
guys really distracting me and making me have violent thoughts. I'm thinking I'm not positive. Better get rid of this guy. Um, what kind of drink did he want, sir? So I don't know the sound picked it up, but he said this guy is really distracting me and making me angry. You better get rid of him. Oh, this is fun. What are you doing, man? We don't disclose that while we're working. What? We don't disclose that while we're working. God prefers kind atheists over hate, hateful Christians. Are you an Antifa? I don't talk to people that just walk up and start insulting people. You're insulting me right now just by looking at me. Alright, that sounds like some painful feelings you have to deal with. Yeah, no, you, you're, uh, you're causing me anxiety in a stressful world. Alright, that's a little weird. F*** off, weirdo. Okay. Go to hell. You too, I'll meet you there. a grown ass man that does window uh, installs. He has that window rack on the side of his van. You'd think he'd be able to control himself a little bit more than that, guys. Um, if you guys see people filming in public, just let them be. Mind their, you know, mind your P's and Q's. Present yourself professionally. He could have uh, told me a little bit about his business, uh, the glass that he installs, what his favorite types of jobs are. Um, he had an opportunity there to really kind of push out his business um, because he doesn't have any signage or markings on his van that's typical of those fly-by-nighters. Um, so they, they can't be identified as they go through neighborhoods and uh, do very bad jobs. Doesn't mean that that's exactly what he's doing, but it is indicative in this area of that kind of behavior. Um, but you know, it is what it is and he could have had an opportunity there to promote him, uh, himself, his business, uh, never know. So somebody might have needed a window and saw our video and just happened to, Hey, I need a window. Uh, you gotta do better guys when you're out, uh, in public and you run into people filming in public, you gotta find a way to promote yourself. I feel like he's gonna come again. Hey, Nick, put when you join, making people uncomfortable, you weirdo. Thank you. He's still going on. Well, if any of you guys recognize this van pulling up to do your uh, glass windows, you might want to know he has a really bad attitude and a chip on his shoulder. I'm just disseminating the drive through here and how to use one. Um, you know, it's funny, that's a, that's a little bit of a joke. Um, he's still yelling shit unimportant um but yeah so it's funny you know uh disseminate the use of a drive-thru it might be funny to a lot of us but there are still a lot of towns across the world that have never experienced a drive-thru and there are some places like for example in the philippines that do have drive throughs but most of the country does not have drive through uh fast food eateries like this um at least accessible to many of the towns and villages uh, that are smaller and so there's people that have never gone through a drive through before uh, my wife is from the philippines and so um, she's experienced that firsthand when she came out here to america the 
This guy's been yelling stuff out the door the whole time. Like, I'm not even pointed at him. I'm over here. And he just can't help himself. He's still yelling stuff. Um, it's not me making him uncomfortable. It's definitely his own little issues that he's internalized. came back from inside. <laughs> she just moved in when I spotted her. I don't know if you guys are going to pick up a lot of this. I'll have to check on editing, but he's still yelling. I'm going to try something. So, instead of screaming insults during your lunch, which says more about how you're behaving, not me. Would you like... Job. I don't a need a job. Joke. Why would I want a job? Because you're a weak, lazy bitch. Really? I built two companies from the ground up they with my hard work out. and I retired. Ups upsetting people while they're trying to eat? No. Stressful I came over here to try to have a conversation with you so you could calm down. I'm fine. I just look at you and I can't fucking stand you. Okay. Pathetic, dude. All right. That's saying more about your maturity level than anything about me. No, it isn't. Man. It absolutely I mean, is. I'm in public. I don't need to move anywhere. That's fine. So am I. Perfect. But I haven't shot insults at you and talked shit to you. Okay. And I'm allowed to do that under the First Amendment rights, Bill of Rights. Look at you. Are you against them? Are you against the Bill of Rights? No. Then what is your issue with filming in public? Nothing. Okay, then why be upset over it? I'm not. You are. This is a First Amendment right, which is also your right, which I'm standing up for and exercising. I appreciate it. Okay. What company did you build? Incorporated? All right, you're just going to keep throwing ignorant comments. That's fine with you. Get, get this guy out of here. He can't do anything about it. The cops cannot do anything about it either. Do you enjoy that? Enjoy what? People. Exercising my rights, I absolutely do. Well, I really enjoy doing it, and I wish you would too. That has less self-control mops the floor with you. Okay, I wish that you exercised your rights as well with me. I do, but you don't. You're not right now. No, I am. All you're doing is hurling insults. No, I came I'm over here to try to trying engage. To, I'm trying to chew okay. my food and not hurt a stupid animal. Okay. Nah. You know I'm right. Not at all. Here. I'm trying to have a conversation with you so that I could explain Let's what we're doing out here. Let's talk about something intelligent, dumbass. I'm trying to, but you're not being very intelligent oh, in your something. responses. Say something that's intelligent. What do you mean? I have every time. I haven't said anything. I, I'm not okay. insulting you. You're bugging people at lunch. I'm not bothering anybody. I you engaged with me first. Because you obviously bothering has to be a physical act. I didn't hear that because the motorcycle. Alright, I will honor your request that you asked nicely. You have a better day and uh, enjoy your weekend coming up. But hey, I do appreciate the please. Thank you so much. You have a good day. What's that? World. No, no. So here, and that's what I was here. I came over here because I wanted to have the engagement with you and explain what I'm doing out here. Yeah, I would love to know. Yeah, you know, when you're done eating, it'll take two minutes of your time. You want to come talk to me, and I'll explain everything. I'm, I'm very respectful. I've been cordial to you, obviously. I'm not here to stir up any trouble. 
Uh, but I'll let you eat first, and then we'll, and then I'll answer. I'm working. Okay, I, I get it. I actually run a company similar to what you're doing for uh, about 20 years. Um, it is hard work, and you know I get it. It could be very stressful. Well, well, what are you doing? What's that? What are you doing? I'm gonna move forward. That's okay. So I don't have to Why yell. Me? All right. So we are. What Take we do? Take off your mask, fucking brave man. All right. Well, that we don't do because that's part of the education process that we put out there. Yeah. So we remind people that you're constantly being filmed when you're out in public now over a hundred times a day. And we also remind people that if you want, demand, or expect privacy while you're out in public, you have to create it yourself, which is what we've done here. And we have 12 different, 11, uh, 11 different educational platforms that we disseminate the information on, our interactions with people. And, you know, we, we're out here for a good experience and to, you know, spread positive vibes and messages. We're not here to antagonize. Um, there are people that do what I do and they're very antagonistic, but I don't feel I've been antagonistic towards you. Um, even when you're antagonizing me, which is fine. Um, so, no, no, that's fine. But sometimes you need a vet and I, you know, I get it. Busy day. Sometimes you, you, you kind of, you got to yell at somebody on occasion. <laughs> I yell at lots of people that are stupid. Okay. Well, you're there with the name calling again, but. Well, no, you're being dumb. I'm not. You're upsetting people. What okay. if somebody has less self-control and just fucks you up? They've tried, not successfully, but I appreciate you worrying about it. I definitely, you know, I, I want you to move forward. Have a great day. You, the weekend's coming up. It's going to be a beautiful one. Enjoy it. Um, I'm taking my wife and kids to Florida this week and, you know, um, hopefully you guys get some vacation time in soon. I'm assuming you work for yourself. It's not an easy thing to do. I spent 20 years working from four o'clock in the morning till 9 p.m and rarely having a day off, much less several in a row. Mm -hmm. So I get it, man. It can be frustrating, but you know, come into a situation and just throw it with kindness, ask some questions, because I would have happily answered them. And whether or not you agree with it, we should always protect each other's rights that are promised to us by, the, by our forefathers. I understand that. So I I, like, that. if you were doing anything I didn't like, I wouldn't assault you for it. I wouldn't go out, you know, cost you for it. I would ask you questions. I would, and if, if I don't agree with you at the end of the conversation, then we part ways. We don't agree. Not a big deal. Everybody leaves happy. Everybody, you know, everybody moves on Are with their you life. Have, like exploiting the situation of the country right now to like get people to have big reactions. No, not at all. My, well, actually, my platform is one of the very few that actually show all the positive engagements and less of the negative ones. I don't want to be on your fucking platform. Well, you kind of already decided that when you came out and yelling at me. Well, and, you decided okay. that when you fucking point cameras at people. All right, people post business cameras all the time. You got filmed going into the drive thru I understand that, and right. I don't need to be on one more. I'm right. under fucking surveillance. But that's what we're that's what we're reminding people of. I mean, even every Tesla, you pull up at a street light, you're picking your nose. The Tesla's recording you doing it. That person that posts that yeah, video online. Like I need some clown in a okay. stupid shirt and a all mask right. and a black beanie. Pointing his dumb right. piece of shit camera at me. Alright. Yeah. Dude, you're asking for trouble. I'm not at all. Yeah, you are. You People can't, are stressed out. You can't ask for trouble when you're just existing doing something. No, you're pointing fucking things at people. And it, fucking it's a cam it. Had I stuck the camera on a pole, you wouldn't even notice it was there. It, you only notice because it's attached to another person. Okay, that's your view, and you're allowed to have that view. I'm not going to be mad at you for it. Do whatever you want. I appreciate that. But at least promise me you're going to have a good weekend. Yeah. All right? Yeah. All right. My name is Mike. What's your name? Take your mask off. Be a brave man. All right. There's nothing to do with that. Then why do I have to why do why do I have to be on video? You don't you you chose to. No. Had you just gone through the no, drive through done your thing, it wouldn't even been included. No, I'm not I'm not on your fucking platform or your video. Okay. What, I can look up your stupid website and fucking watch my video? Huh? If that's what you wanted to do. No, no. What what where am I gonna be uh posted? We don't just we don't share that while we're out working. See, that that kind of stuff is what upsets people. Okay. I understand. I understand your concern. So, yeah, that's not really cool. You're, uh, you're kind of doing.
doing uh, weird stuff, man. I, I, in my opinion, it's not weird, but in your well, opinion, I, it is. If I rip your mask off and film you, then that would be assault. No, no, it wouldn't. It, it would. would be making it even. No, it would be assault. You'd be on. You'd be going to jail for the week. I don't see how. All right. Or I'll just take your mask off gently. That you can't do that either. That's assault. You touch somebody, it's battery. Yeah. Even if you touch them softly. But if you want to caress me, that's a different conversation. Uh, it has platform. nothing to do with brave. Get on your, plat your own platform with me. It has nothing to do with brave. Set that tripod up and come over here and join me on your platform. You should come to our podcast. We do need opposing views on our podcast. It would be great. So what is your platform all about? We educate and remind people about the overzealous surveillance in this country and other places in the world. Some of them, like the UE has it way worse than we yeah, do. I, I see, I agree. Now yeah, you're, now so you're you're, a, you're filmed a hundred times a day every time you leave the I house. Know. Yep. It's horrible. And we are making a statement that is reminding people of this. We're never gonna stop it. Exactly, we're it's Pandora's fun. box is already open. We're in a meat grinding tax farm. Bro, what's funny is when you say that, our entire week last week was spent talking about taxation here in America while I was going to state buildings that are sitting empty with three or five workers in it. And I'm eating something that's probably filled with chemicals that make me react violently and, <laughs> and have stupid thoughts in my head that dumb me down. Absolutely. And Believe. we talk about that all the time. I'm glad you brought those points up yeah. because it's funny. I, had we sit down and had coffee, we'd probably have a lot more eye to eye than you I think. Know. Upset so we fancy camera so how do you how do you educate people or educate a society that doesn't want to hear anything you have to say there's, shock and awe there's no point it, it's shock and awe we're you, at Valhalla uh, what do you call it uh, terminal Valhalla we've almost reached yeah put that on your podcast absolutely and we talk about all the time I mean I mean look at it you know you're I'm assuming you're a small business owner I'm just a slave. Oh, okay. Well, so I, I ran a company for 20 years, and every penny that I took home, the government, between state, federal, and everything else that gets mixed in, takes half right away, just half. They didn't put any work in. They get half my half my income. I then get taxed when I pay my employees. They get taxed when they receive their paycheck. And every time they go to buy something, they get taxed again. Right. So at the end of the day, out of $100, what, 80 bucks of it ends up going to tax? <laughs> and we're just okay with it, and it sucks. We've, we've just accepted this. And, you know, back back when, you know, back in the day, Boston Tea Party, when tax went up from 1.5 to 3%, the whole country revolted. Now we're at a 50% tax rate for small businesses. Because we're probably dumbed down by the everything we eat, drink, and breathe. Our education system is is educating workers not leaders and that's and that's been designed that way from gate yep. you know we're too busy being mad at each other to realize how we're getting yep. Yep. i appreciate you bringing that up because that's exactly why i'm here doing this and it might bother you but it does a little bit it, but now that you understand a little bit of why we're out here a little bit more hopefully thought, you understand you're an idiot but you're not so yeah Carry on, sir, and I'm sorry I was aggressive, and I'm sorry, Internet. I accept your apology, and honestly, this is going to end really well anyways, because, you know, it, it, everyone's going to love the turnaround here, and I appreciate it. You would probably kick my ass anyway, but hey, you got to stand <laughs> up for your rights, man. It's not, so it is rights, which is why I'm here. Just be careful, dude. You're Absolutely. Freaking, you're poking people when they're at their edge, sir. I understand that, so we've had a few people get a little too poked, and I get it. It, it's part of the. It's not comfortable. This is a horrible world, internet. It is absolutely uncomfortable, and I understand that. But that's also why we're doing it this way. Yeah. You got to educate some people through discomfort sometimes, and it's just the reality. And the sad. It's actually a sad reality, because our education system isn't raising a bunch of leaders now. I mean, they, they just took science out of school requirements. I said I thought you were an idiot you've been fine and I could tell because of your frustration levels why I came back over here and I wanted to kind of bring it back down have a conversation with you I, I don't think you're a bad guy I thought you were just a fool and an asshole antagonizing hard-working people I yeah, yeah. 
like I said, I don't think you're a bad dude. I really hope you have a good weekend. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you guys have a blessed day, all right? Yeah, you too, sir. All right. What are you doing? Oh. Bro. All right. Let's get this done. You going to answer some calls today, guys? Yeah, apparently. Why are you echoing still? I don't understand. Uh. Hello. 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 Hold on here. Is this your mic? I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, or are you just talking too loud? I don't think I'm talking too loud at all. It is you talking too loud. You're talking not, loud enough for my mic. That's the echo. I'm not talking too loud. So you have to talk into the mic against the mic, but not loud enough to also talk into mine. Can you hear me right now? All I right. Here we go, guys. I have a question for. Uh, no. Deep. All right, guys, I have a really good question for you guys. Would you rather. Nope, not that either. All right, guys, before we get started, would you rather be trapped in a time loop reliving the worst day of your life over and over or over and over have to confront your greatest fear every single day? Um, which one would you rather do? Comment below or give us a call, 323-645-0410, and we'll go ahead and take this first call over here. Management. Would I date a girl on OnlyFans? Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> but for fun time only, period. <laughs> That's it. Fun time, bedroom time only. That's it. Mm. No wiping up, not taking serious. How can you? Not only that, her reputation is tarnished. Oh, yeah, for tarnished. sure. It's for gone. Sure. That's it. Um, yep, that's it. Fun time only. Never to wipe up. Thank you. I appreciate the work you guys do. Peace out. And thank you. So I have a question for, the call. Um, for those in the dating pool. Would you? date a woman who's not necessarily doing OnlyFans, but would you date a woman who has done OnlyFans? It seems to be a hot topic. I've seen videos all over the place where people say, well, if she's not doing it anymore, sure. And then other people are like, hell no. Nah. You know how many people have seen her little parts there before me? Uh, nope, I'm good. Um, I don't know. Would you date somebody with OnlyFans? No. No? No. Why not? OnlyFans? Yep. I mean, I'm good. Same yeah. thing that he said. Like, if maybe I'll make some videos. You're stupid. But that's it. <laughs> I'm not trying to like date her. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do either. I'm not gonna make some videos. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take this next call. Oh my! Wow. Management. Oh wait! Before we continue, I actually have a question. Do you guys know anybody personally? Who has done OnlyFans or does OnlyFans? Ooh, that is a good question. Comment below and what do you think about it? And how are this how is this person related to you? And what do you think about their decision to do it? Are you supportive or do you think they're crazy? Yeah, answer that one. Give us a call and uh, share that with us. 323-645-0410 or comment below. We'll pin the best one. Let's go ahead and take this call. Management. Oh, yeah, but wait. So what <laughs> if... <laughs> I'm just messing with it. Let's go ahead and, take, go ahead and take, right. take this call. <laughs> Management. Bro, are you cured of me? Right what? Now? Your phone. The simplest thing. You can't even turn off your phone. I didn't. Yeah, it wasn't my um, phone. That was yours. That was, no, mine goes ding. <laughs> that was your phone. Nope. That was definitely not mine. Mm -mm. All right. Guys, somebody comment below. Let them know that don't be doing leaving this phone ringer on. That's you know. Why am I still holding this? When are we gonna answer this call? I don't know. You, I tried to answer it this time, but then your phone went. Ding, 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 ding. You could have just ignored it, right? No, I couldn't have. It's kind of annoying. I'm sure everybody wearing headphones right now that heard that is like, ah. Nah. If you <sighs> did, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's true. I think he's capping. Anyways. No cap. No cap. Why do you think it's capping? Management. Hey, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? He asked you a question. I'm doing good, sir. I'm doing good. <laughs> My name is Joe. Uh Hi, Joe. How are you doing today? His name is Simple. 
My name's Lizard. Just want to let you guys know that. That's simple. Lizard, simple, lizard, simple, lizard, yeah. lizard. Sim- no, lizard. Wait, what? Did I just call myself lizard? I don't know why. You, I thought you were Impact. messing around. <laughs> I forgot my own name. <laughs> Impact, simple, impact, simple, impact, simple. There you go. Oh, I'm, I'm over here. <laughs> um, I'm in Long Island, New York. Hi, Long Island, New York. How are you doing out there? How's the weather? Nassau County, to be specific. Uh, I was in a post office. Nice. And, uh, you know, I, I do a lot of trading on, on the Internet. Nice. Uh, hockey cards, you know, sports memorabilia stuff. For a minute, I thought he meant, like, trading, like stock trading. Mm. What did you think when he said trading? At the trading? post office? I know exactly what he meant. I don't know. Did you pre-hear this already? Damn. No, I just knew trading. I do lots of trading. trading. Sounds like, you know, like maybe on eBay or eBay. Craigslist trading. Wow. All right. You know like that. And uh, I just went to send the package out. And uh, when I went to take, I pulled my phone out just to take a photo of the screen that's in front of me with the address. And when they say, they tell you to, you know, confirm that this is the right address, I took a picture of it to send to the person to show them that I was at the post office sending their package to the proper address. Which seems like a perfectly normal thing to do, right? Mm -hmm. Picture verify. Yeah. I've seen people do it before, like where they're taking a video of them dropping the letters in the the drop off box. This seems like a normal thing to do. Mm -hmm. And the the guy working there flipped. He just flipped his shit. Pardon wow. me. He flipped his shit. He called the police. What? The police came in and immediately put me to the ground and cuffed me. What? Of course, I'm not. That's crazy. You know, um, in their uh, recording, <clears throat> most you know, mo- or expecting any of this to happen, especially huh. when the police show up. I don't expect them to just put me in cuffs for no reason. So that. Um, that was uh, an encounter that I had, uh, a horrible encounter. I'm watching uh, your video that came out today on the 29th of September. Damn. And I um, wanted to let you hear that one. So That's thanks crazy. for what you do, guys. That is crazy. Yeah, Thank that, you for your call. If, if nothing else ever, what we do is important just so that doesn't happen again. Yeah, right? That, that's insane, bro. If I took a picture... Bro, of a package I was trying to deliver or the information, and then all of a sudden I was cuffed. Like, I could on the understand ground. if that, he was crazy, taking a picture bro. of his package, like you know, that'd be uh, weird. yeah, that'd be, you know, maybe not in the post office. That'd be you know more appropriate of getting arrested and slammed on the ground. But bro, if he's just taking that, like, come on, man, you whip mm-hmm. out a phone and go, rah, like that's the country all these Karens would love to live in. No phones, just calm. Yep. Every single American today that has a cell phone has a camera on it now. So you could be pretending to talk on the phone and recording everything. Just and you're recording. You'll never know. There's no way to tell if you're standing on this side. Unless you're one of the Karens that tries to discreetly record with their flash on. Then oh, yeah. When they, when, they, when, they, when, they, when, they, when they do this and they're walking in, they're like. Mm-hmm. And they don't realize their flash is on, too. So it's like, yeah, who walks around with the flashlight on in the middle of the day? Right? Like, that's, oh, my God. It's so funny when they do that. And it's just like. And they think they're being low-key. Like, <laughs> I'm going to walk by real quick. The video yeah. Yeah. So I'm sorry you went through that. It seems like a very devastating experience just because you took a picture of an address label. Um, I wonder, am I missing anything from this story, though? Somebody comment below or call us in if you think something is being left out here. 323-645-0410. Or if you take it at face value and he actually got slammed on the ground because he was taking pictures of an address label that he was mailing out and sending it off to somebody, I think that would be a crazy response to that. Mm -hmm. And if post office audits do nothing else but to bring awareness to... Uh, use of uh, phones to take pictures of address labels in public, that, then that, that's it. Then we've done our job because it will protect another person from being slammed to the ground for it. So there we are. I guess that's why we do First Amendment auditing, so people don't go. get slammed to the ground for taking a picture of a box. Right? <laughs> but let's take this next call. Management. You guys just keep doing what you're doing. You don't know how much I've learned from you. 
And cops are like that are the reason my brother is no longer a cop. Hey, yeah, I called once. Call him back. I'm watching this video when you guys are doing incoming calls. You have to do more videos like this. This is hysterical. <laughs> I'm laughing my ass off. Best video I've seen yet of this. More videos need to have this commentary. This is great, man. Good video. Keep it up. Thank you know, very much. It, it's funny when I get those because people in the comments, like, not not people, there's always a few. There's always a few Karen and complainers. They're like, oh, my God, I quit watching as soon as you played that call, blah, blah, blah. Um, I love doing these. This is another little passion project that we kind of fell in love with. He loves doing them. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're a lot of fun to put together. It builds an actual relationship with, uh, you know, our subscribers, which is also a wonderful thing. And I think that it's very important to establish some kind of open line of communication or open line of dog dialogue, dogalogue, dogalogue, di dialogue, 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 um, dialogue with people that you that are also passionate with you or about what you are working on. And so that's where this comes in hand. And I, I enjoy doing it. And for the most part, all of these clips will be on the management channel and not on the uh, main channels. However, we will also be including them on all the channels, you know, here and there to kind of show people like, hey, go to this channel if you want this stuff over here. Because there's always going to be a segment of people that love this aspect of what we are doing. I am in love with doing this. And I think that it's very important that, you know, if I love it and a few people love it, that they come over here and they engage with us on it. Because I think this is a wonderful thing. And the good thing about these videos is you can actually hear them without seeing them necessarily. So you just put them on the background while you're cooking and cleaning yep, or you know wearing true. headphones and just doing about your day, listen to it like a podcast. Um, so there's a lot of great things that come out of a video like this versus our other content. And yes, a lot of times we do put a video in the front and middle and stuff, but it's still stuff so you can understand the context of what's going on. And we will also be releasing micro videos with just one or two calls at a time so that people can explore these videos without necessarily having to engage in the longer version of them. So I appreciate the feedback. I, I greatly appreciate that feedback. And, you know, we got a comment once a day. It's like, oh, my God, nobody's calling in. That's so fake, blah, blah. Okay. Um I'm yeah, kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised that more of these people don't comment back. Like uh, I called in, um, because it's important that people understand. Like I only have like four friends. <laughs> um, I don't surround myself with a lot of people, but I surround myself with some really good people, and I don't have enough friends that pay to do all these phone calls. So <laughs> they're definitely real. But yeah, let's take this next call. Hey, you know, you didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, management. <laughs> uh, so this is Wayne in New Jersey. I watch Impact Media all the time. Uh, I'm Thank in Bayonne, New Jersey, and I really appreciate what you guys are doing by reminding people that they actually have the ability to be in public and whatever they see from whatever they uh, their eyes can see, they actually can, can use. Um, but the bottom line is these people are crazy out here that don't remember Years ago, back in the 70s and 80s when I was growing up, I used to see uh, commercials and, and movies where people uh, would laugh at uh, tourists, Japanese or Chinese or wherever they were from, uh, actually use their cameras uh, and, you know, take pictures of whatever, and they could do it because it was, they were in public. Um, I wish uh, people understand that this is a free country and we have the ability to record anything that we can see. Well, the sad part is, is a lot of people, not all, most people are pretty respectful of what we do. Uh, that was the little clicker. We'd have like 500 people that either ignored us, said hi to us, asked us questions, were kind. They, you know, uh, maybe walked in with their middle finger up, which is their freedom of speech as well. Um, however, it's only a small percentage of people that only wants rights when it's convenient for their use, not for anybody else's use. And that's where... Um, you know, for example, you can have a gentleman standing on a street corner holding up a political sign of either party, and all day there's going to be people saying, F that person, F you, F the, like, F, you know, and cam back in you and posting, oh, my God, there's this idiot over here uh, preaching, vote for this guy, he's such a moron, blah, 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 with his picture. 
And so, of course, he'd probably want to wear a mask while doing it, if especially if he's out there by himself and just to kind of protect his identity from being all over Facebook and keep his political opinions away from everything else. But, um, you know, we live in a society where we should absolutely promote people exercising their freedoms. And I think that that's a very horrible thing that it's being questioned as often as it is. How are you guys doing today? I have a question for you. Would you divorce your spouse if you found out that he or she either had an OnlyFans or subscribed to somebody's OnlyFans? And let's take these calls. All right. Management. In fact, just to have to say, bad of you today did my six-month toenail trimming. And wow. Just what? had to think about you and how much you would six appreciate months. the fact that I do it every six months. What? Love you. Take care. Bye. Um, six months seems like a god-awful long time. It really does. Like, six months? Really? Like, that's 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 a long time. I feel like I cut mine every, like, week. How often do you trim yours? Every year. I don't know. More, more frequently than every six months, though. That's pretty... How often do you trim your toenails? And I have a question. Comment below or call it in, because I have to have an answer to this. That's Are a you a toenail question. biter, picker, cutter, or do you just let it go until they break? Let me know. Comment below. Best comment gets pinned. Or call in at 323-645-0410. I want to know how often you do one of those things to your toenails and why you choose the method that you choose. All right, let's take this next call. Management. Hey, the management impact boys and lovely lady in the editing room. <laughs> uh, this is Omar, also known as TBI Firefighter 451. Hey, buddy. How you doing? And I want to comment. You had a caller call in, and you said was you kind of your top fan, and the guy or gal was pretty abusive and abrasive, and the impact was commenting about his speech impediment and, and you know, different things about this guy and stuff like that. And I wanted to comment that I had a speech impediment when I was a kid. Me too. I still I have it. I got a traumatic brain injury from when I was a firefighter. Mm. Uh, I have some other cognitive issues. I grew up with an abusive parent who beat me every day. Well, we're part of the uh, same I club there. I kid, too. Uh, later on, I was told that the stuttering was secondary to the abuse I was experiencing. It was the way my body reacted to the horrific daily abuse I put up with with my stepdad. I experienced the same thing. Later, as I got older, I understood where the speech impediment really began. It was childhood trauma. And it was... Even before I was adopted into a hellish house, um, I went through a bunch of foster homes where I was also abused. And so that's part of the reason why we took in specific foster home, uh, foster kids that we did. Um, kids with special needs, kids with the uh, that had come from abusive homes, kids that you know had speech issues and things like that, um, anything kind of special needs. Um, we actually enjoyed helping them forge a path uh, through their getting school fixed, uh, getting them on a education uh, program um, and just all kinds of things. So it's, it's very important that we realize that there's a whole bunch of people out there that just need people to be kind to them and guide them through some really difficult times in life. And at no fault of their own, they get put into the foster system and it's, you know, um, it is incredibly sad. I mean, a couple of the kids, you're just like, oh, I can't believe that we have to return them to the state um, or return them to their parents who made and created all of these issues in the first place. It's, it's kind of a heartbreaking uh, experience uh, being a foster parent. But the value you get out of being able to be there for that person's part of their life is way more rewarding than the pain that you suffer when you have to um, – you know, give the kids back in most cases, but yeah. For 14 plus years. But anyway, I wanted to say about your caller. You know, your caller might have a traumatic brain injury. Your caller might have Tourette's syndrome. Your caller may be emotionally or behaviorally disabled. Or your 
caller may have just had an abusive a hole parent like you and I did. Yeah, that's, and that's very what true. Made your car such an a hole. So don't give up on your disgruntled number one fan yet. No, never, never, never. We it love might not everybody. Be as bad as you think, and it quite possibly they might just be having a bad day and taking it out on you. Absolutely, happens anyway, every day. Enjoy your sabbatical, and we'll look forward to seeing you when you all get back. Thank you I very much. Your content, and I'm really excited to see what your new content is going to be. Thank you. Take care. Thank you for Peace the call. Peace out, YouTube. Peace out, YouTube. I love that. <laughs> um, I absolutely love the fact that uh, he sh he called in and shared all that with us. That was amazing. Um, I think that we're going to end the calls here for now. We will be back tomorrow, as you guys know. It's going to be a wonderful, beautiful day. Mm -hmm. um, and Rebecca. <laughs> all right, you love still it. waiting for Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca, if you're watching this video, <laughs> call this man back. We love you guys. Uh, love you too, Rebecca. Thank you so much for the calls. Management. Hello, you asked a question. This is from Arizona again, calling back. Appreciate you it. asked a question about how to tell you I'm old but without <laughs> telling you I'm old. <laughs> that wasn't a question, but it was, I get it. I remember Kukia and Ollie. That was a. Oh, wait, I did ask that question after that gentleman. Yeah, I did. I forgot. That was a cartoon. I remember Popeye. Me too. I remember black and white TV. Uh, when, when I got to be about 11 or 12. Oh, I had a rich friend, and I could go to his house and watch color TV. What a treat that was. That's so crazy. I remember those giant box big screens that you could only watch if you're sitting directly in front of them because if you turned to an angle, it had these weird ridges. It would make half the picture disappear. And that was like the first big screen televisions, and it was like this weird vinyl that you liked touching. So everybody, no matter where you went, if somebody had kids, there's fingerprints and handprints all over the big screens. Um, who remembers those? <laughs> I do. I remember party lines. Oh, God, I remember those. Those are such horrible STD spreaders. <laughs> There's so many people hooking up on those party lines just anonymously. I was like, nope, this is a nope, nope, nope. That's a telephone where you could pick up the phone. Yep. Like the red one you're the kid. I think it's uh, Simple's using. There he is. The He's on the party line. And that's how all phones line. were. And they had wall phones, and they had stand-up, even older phones than that. Yeah. But my dad was a phone man, so he was out for 33 years. Nice. So I kind of know a little bit about telephones. Huh. And, you know, it's, it's just the fact that the the party lines on the telephones and the TV, I remember the first thing I watched was, I think, a Mighty Joe Young or King Kong huh. on a little black and white TV, and I... Yep. I remember that. I was like four or five years old. It was pretty amazing to experience, too. I remember too. being tied up in the backyard to a tree because I went up and down the street and painted all the trees purple. What? I'll try that today and see what happens. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yep. You got tied up to a tree? Years old. I remember being tied up in the backyard to a tree. I have a story about this. That's crazy. Is it crazy that I've lived that? When I was... Five years old, I ran away from home because I forgot my bus pass. Okay, and I made, this made the newspaper, by the way. I just ha we just read the clipping the other day. <laughs> so, um, going through some old shit. Um, I ran away, forgot the bus pass. I was in a newly adoptive home that they were not nice at all to us, even though they just adopted us. They were horrific. And I ran away because I was so scared because I forgot my bus pass. So the bus would not pick me up. In fact, they changed bus pass policy based on my event. And it's and that spells it all out in the newspaper clipping. And I was so scared to go home to let them know I missed the bus that I hid inside of a little furniture store at the end of the street underneath a bunch of little furniture thing. I just lay there all day. And <laughs> when I did get home, I was actually tied to a tree butt naked and had severe beatings occur the next day we were taken to mcdonald's and a social worker picked us up and all we were told when we were there and this is according to my older brother who is old enough to remember part of this was that sorry guys you guys have to go to a new home and so 
I was in the paper that was printed the very day that I was then given back to the state as a failed adoptee. And I was tied to the tree and beat senseless for that for that situation, among other things. There was more happened later. They took me to their little office and stuff, um, their home from work office, and just very bad things happened. And so, yeah, I didn't have the best child. <laughs> so I'm surprised it didn't turn out extremely bad. Um, but let's continue, you know, or I think he said that. that was, we just reversed it. Okay, let's take this next call before I get emotional. Well. You management. Just, you just like holding the phone? Just sitting there. Just, you know, like. Apparently, I don't know, man. All right. Management. Yo, management. <laughs> I just saw my favorite auditors on Fox 11 News. Oh, Jesus. And they were lying about you guys. They were. Mm -hmm. Outright <laughs> lying. You guys know damn well we don't just attack random people. Nope. We always have our backs on the wall. He had his back on the glass. Um,. It didn't occur the way that they said it was. Nope. And it wasn't like the PD came and just arrested us. It was a private person's arrest engaged and enacted by the other gentleman. Um, it, it's. No. Uh, it, it, yeah. <laughs> LBO, Lizard, Simple, Impact, Big Black, the lady with the cane. It's a fucking mess, dude. You need to. I know you guys probably have a lot going on but you need to file a lawsuit against fox 11 news for lying about you guys. we have Fuck plans you. Love you. Bye. Um, thank you for the call i can't speak on it yet um because i've been told not to speak on the uh, uh lawsuit against uh, fox 11 but um yeah let's continue this next call uh, management hi yes i would love to see you guys face and for your right requests here. are definitely important. That's Have a true, good yeah. day and keep up the good work. Bye-bye. Love you. Thank you for the call. You know, if you actually do want to see our face, though, you can't. You might be able to see... You might be able to catch a glimpse oh, of mine. Oh, because I doxed you? You probably <laughs> catch a glimpse of mine and lizards. I'm not going to say which videos, but there are actually a couple videos <laughs> Where you can see. Hey, I doxed myself in a mirror a few times, so it's not like it, yeah. it's not like it's not there. It, it is there. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It, this is way more fun. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm not gonna say which ones. But if you guys go look, you might be able to catch a glimpse of a. Uh, Trust me. Me and lizard. I'm not that pretty. Don't worry about it. You're not missing anything. Management. Should the government be able to restrict the press during national emergencies? That was one of our questions that we asked. Let me see what you got to say about it. Well, the government that did 911, the government that killed billions of people in the Mideast for oil and for Israel, that owns the Federal Reserve Corporation and our asses, that government? Fuck no. <laughs> All right. He had a firm opinion. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your thoughts and opinions. Thank you for I the call. am a firm believer that, especially in emergency situations, Free pet, free press has to exist. It mm -hmm. must exist, and it must exist outside of the big conglomerate corporation press companies. When something big is going on in America, pick up a newspaper from a local, uh, you know, a local source, and actually get some information because the people that are usually reporting at those uh, smaller papers, smaller outlets, are usually wet behind the ears and very excited and very driven about their job versus the ones that have, you know, kind of sold out for corporations and and decided, hey, let's just, let's just read from whatever they give us. Like, no, nothing, nothing special anymore. Um, but, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and take this next call. Management. That, that man at that library, I don't know how he works around oh, yeah. children. That lady should have fired him on the oh, yeah. spot. Yeah, so I got corrected, and I forgot she said she was new here, but I'm sorry. In two days, you should have had plenty of information to get rid of that guy. Mm -hmm. um, you can sometimes tell when somebody's just about to pop their top. And I'm glad to hear that he ended up getting fired, and apparently he made a YouTube video about the YouTube video at some point, and people clowned on him for it. But um, I hope that he got some mental health help mm -hmm. because – 
filming should not have turned into throwing furniture, cussing people out, making very, very vulgar statements in front of children. Um, I think that that's just everything, everything that went wrong there. Um, and I know that, you know, Denver Metro Audits uh, did their best to maintain composure given the circumstances. And so in that situation, I think they did okay given, you know, reservations I may have had, but I still think they did a good job. And I'm glad that they actually filmed in that moment where they were, even if I wouldn't have filmed there myself, um, because it absolutely highlighted the most dangerous type of person to have around your children. And so they they got rid of him, thankfully, and exposed that man for the lunatic that he is. So um, let's go ahead and uh, finish this call. There is no reason for him to throw a temper tantrum worse than a child. Yeah. Where did he get his manners from? And who yep. taught him how to act when something like that happens? Bad parenting. He should have fired him. Other than that. That is parenting of a child where it is never told no. Where the child is the most special thing on the fucking planet and can do anything he wants and could never. That, that's lack of parenting and a lack of good parenting. She was a very nice supervisor. I think she handled the situation very well. I agree. And another thing, if you guys could possibly come down to Brayden to Florida, that would be wonderful. Cover what in Florida? She said come down to, I think, Brayden. Oh, Florida. Florida. And um, my favorite um, First Amendment auditors is you guys, and next in line is Long Island Audit. I appreciate that. Thank you. a very good job going in by itself and handling situations. I appreciate that. Thank you very that. much. That's and nice I Bye. absolutely believe that Thanks he is call. an ad. Like he, I think he's one of the best advocates for what we do. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people hate on the biggest heads that do this because if you, if you watch enough, if you release a thousand videos, there's enough to find anything you did wrong um mm -hmm. if you look hard enough for something you did wrong mistakes you've made you, it's easy to find mistakes when it's you know uh the game's already over things have already passed um it's monday night quarterbacking at its finest and so and i feel like there's so many people that go after auditing just in general that um and it and it's actually can be very dangerous. There's uh, forums uh, that, you know, one of them is run by like a fraud or troll, for example. He runs a very dangerous forum on uh, Reddit. And there's people intentionally trying to dox people on there. There's threats on there being made. There's a, a, a cop that I got sent a screenshot from uh, that was suggesting or insinuating that violence should occur every time somebody sees an auditor. Um, so I, I'm getting sent these screenshots. Thank you for the emails, by the way. And I try to read as many as I can. But And then they apparently also have a private Discord where it gets even worse. And so I got sent screenshots in private Discords that, you know, where they discuss vile things and potentially going after people and, you know, doxing them and putting them in dangerous, precarious situations um, because they just don't like the exercising of freedoms in this beautiful country. And I, I don't, I understand not everything's for everybody, but nothing should elicit a response like that. And it shouldn't be okay or encouraged by any of the trolls. Troll, troll ahead. Go ahead. Exercise your rights to criticize. Absolutely. I'm a firm supporter of that. And I actually get upset when other when uh, auditors kind of go after the trolls by doing copyright strikes, things like that. That's not okay. It's it's You're trying to diminish somebody else's First Amendment exercise while being a First Amendment auditor. Um, so those kind of things need to stop. It's a bad look for the community altogether. But what's worse is when the, you know, a troll account or troll pages are okay with or encourage or turn a blind eye to doxing and other dangerous behaviors, um, you know, and threats and, oh, you guys should, they, you know, somebody needs to attack them. Oh, I'm going to, so it was a, the cop one, if I remember correctly, was talking about, I'm going to. Uh, somebody should exercise their second amendment while they're exercising their first, which is insinuating you should have shot them. Um, that's not okay. And it's screenshots that we have forever on their discord and on their Reddit page that they run. And it, it's not okay. Like, you know, I'm not out here advocating, Oh, somebody should go commit violence against the trolls and, 
you know, we I, none of it is okay in either direction. And, you know, I, I would greatly appreciate and respect them even more if they put an end to those behaviors. Um, it shouldn't turn into an attack on other people and trying to hurt and harm other people intentionally uh, out of a hatred for something somebody does. Yeah.